A recent poll found that 37% of Americans have a positive view of the FBI. And that's from an NBC poll. I wouldn't exactly call that uh, right media propaganda. And I think I know why. Here's what the American people know and believe about the FBI today, sir. If you are a Trump, you'll be prosecuted. If you are a Biden, you'll be protected. And the American people that I represent are sick and tired of this double standard. It seems like every single hearing that we have in this room, we talk about the two-tiered justice system of Biden DO, uh, Biden's DOJ and the FBI, and as we were talking earlier, here we are again. President Trump endured an unprecedented raid at his home in Mar-a-Lago. President Biden's home, however, was respectfully browsed. President Trump is facing up to 400 years in federal prison for allegedly being in possession of classified documents he obtained as the commander-in-chief of these United States of America. And meanwhile, President Biden is facing no charges for the classified documents he had held at his time as a senator and a vice president, not the president of these United States of America. And last I checked, he had no legal authority to declassify those documents. Assuming President Trump was in possession of said classified documents, would those documents be more secure, surrounded by Secret Service at Mar-a-Lago, or in a box, in a garage, behind your Corvette? You know the answer to that question. Question for you, sir. What can you tell us about the status of the FBI's investigation of President Biden's classified documents found next to his Corvette in Delaware and those found at the Penn Biden Center? Do we have an update on that, sir? What I can tell you is that there is an ongoing special counsel investigation led by Mr. Robert Herr, uh, and we have FBI agents uh, affiliated with it, working on it, working very actively and aggressively with him on that case. Um, I obviously disagree with your description of the two standards. In my view, we, at least under my watch, we have one standard, okay. uh, and that is we're going to pursue the facts wherever they lead, no matter who likes it. And I add that last part because especially in sensitive investigations, mm -hmm. Almost by definition, somebody's not going to like it. So I understand, and that's actually why I led with the sentiment of the American people. I understand that, that and, that's and your so, sentiment. So Let me, I, I do want to finish this. So, so I want everybody to talk about this dichotomy that we have seen. I, I get your point, sir, but that's just not what we see as the public, as we the people. We see one case being fa fast-tracked and one case being slow-walked. We see one president's home being raided, the other president's home being kindly searched. You have one government agency the Secret Service, protecting the former president and his home, and another government agency, the FBI, raiding the same home. Now, to me, sir, that's tragically ironic. And we expect more from a functional constitutional republic, and these things shouldn't be happening. Now, it's my opinion that Joe Biden is the most unpopular president we have seen in a century, and that's why he knows the only way to stop President Trump from beating him in November is by putting him in jail. You talked about this, Mr. Fry. In the 247 years of this existence of this great nation, only one president has ever been indicted by the DOJ and has home raided by the FBI. Now, some have said that President Trump's indictment means that no one is above the law. Okay, all right, I would love to see that. But what about Hillary Clinton? And what about Joe Biden? And what about Hunter Biden, who is America's favorite son? Let me tell you something. I got a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter at my house. Hunter Biden, to me, is like glitter. He is on everything, and you cannot get rid of him. And yet nothing is going to be done about this. We're sick of it. James Comey decided not to prosecute Hillary Clinton despite overwhelming evidence that she committed crimes. And as I recall, it was the position of the FBI to not prosecute because they didn't want to interfere with the presidential election. What do you call this? The Iowa caucuses are in six months. Six months. I think the American public would expect to see this from Cuba and from Venezuela and from Russia and from China, but not here. The people expect us to have blind justice. They expect equal justice under the law. 
It is not the job of the DOJ or the FBI to prosecute Joe Biden's top political opponent who was leading in every single primary poll, and the Iowa caucuses are in six months. Let the people decide. It's our job to uphold the Constitution. As a West Point grad and military veteran, this is the Constitution I give my life to protect, and I expect us all to uphold it likewise. Thank you so much for being here. Mr. Chairman, may I briefly respond? Sure. Uh, so number one, as to the investigations related to Mrs. Clinton, as you noted, that happened under my predecessor, and I'm not going to speak that. for or defend that decision. I recognize that. Second, uh, as to your descriptions of the investigations uh, related to uh, Hunter Biden, uh, as you know, there is an ongoing investigation being led by the Delaware U.S. Attorney appointed by President Trump, and we are actively working on that investigation with him. Well, we, third look, we, and look, third, we look forward to seeing the results of this quickly and swiftly. And, and third and finally, uh, to your point about the American people mm -hmm. and their views, uh, I worry less about NBC polls or polls by any other news outlet, uh, but I will tell you that it, the number of people in Texas applying to work for us since I've been in this job has gone up 93%. And in fact, I'm not going to quote Matt Gates. I, 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 heard, I, heard, I heard his response to this earlier. In fact, <laughs> we have That's great, more, applicants, more applicants from the state of Texas annually in the last several years than any other state in the country. And that makes sense because Texas is the greatest state in the country. Then I think that speaks very well of the view of Texans yeah. about the FBI. Director, any oh. agents who served on the Crossfire Hurricane investigation or the Mueller investigation, are any of those agents on Mr. Hur or Mr. Smith's special counsel team? I don't believe so, but I can't, on the top of my head, go through the list of There's a lot of agents involved in the two investigations, and so um, let me check into that and see if there's any way we can get back to on that, because I don't want to get out over my skis. Thank you. The gentleman uh, from uh, Wisconsin is recognized. Right. Now the gentleman has expired. The gentleman from Texas, the other gentleman from Texas is recognized. Hey, sir. Thank you so much for appearing today. I really appreciate it. I want to tell you about how my friends, neighbors in Tomball, Spring, Texas, and of course, Americans across this country are feeling today, after listening to this, they feel that we have a two-tiered justice system in this country, and it's terrifying. So I applaud your work. I actually find you to be sincere in working on behalf of the American people, and I recognize that. Um, but I also feel like we need to hold the people accountable who have participated in the sham of an investigation. I'm going to tell you why. What happened in 2016 was unprecedented. The same government agencies that were investigating President Trump and his campaign were looking the other way when it came to the allegations against the Clintons. At the same time, the Clinton campaign paid for the Steele dossier, the DOJ and FBI were helping to cover up Clinton's crimes. We know this to be a fact. 33,000 emails miraculously disappeared. Phones were smashed with hammers by the FBI. Even CNN fact-checked this, and it turned out to be true. Yes, CNN. And they refused to prosecute her. This selective prosecution doesn't only favor the Clintons, though, as we have seen in very recent history. Sir, I'm sure you are familiar with what's going on with Hunter Biden's plea deal and his refusal to pay his taxes and the separate agreement to dismiss his felony gun possession, both of which were announced yesterday. You familiar with that, sir? Yes. Hunter Biden will likely serve no jail time for his offenses, and, and yet there was no early morning SWAT raid on Hunter's home in coordination with the media either. The American people are sick and tired of this two-tiered justice system, and as a black man, I'm tired of seeing this kind of discretion used to favor people like Hunter Biden because he's white and a son of a president. While Hunter Biden will serve no jail time for these charges, black men across this country are in prison for years for the exact same crimes. And I'm not surprised, because I guess this selective justice shouldn't become as a surprise to anyone in this room, because after all, Joe Biden was one of the authors of the 94 crime bill, one of my all-time favorites. And we could see what that has done to black men across this country. But back to this report. This report concerns, one, of many investigations into Trump that led absolutely nowhere, wasted vast amounts of resources and time, and spread lies, rumors, and innuendos about Trump across this country. 
What we know is that the Clinton campaign and the DNC paid for the Steele dossier, which was used as a basis for the FISA warrants to spy on an incoming president. Correct, sir? It was paid, much of that, the dossier was paid for from the campaign uh, through Bob Perkins, uh, Cooey's hiring of Fusion and Fusion's hiring of Steele. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, sir. The biggest problem that I have with that is that none of the, none of the significance has been prosecuted over this sham investigation, and and no one who participated in this investigation is serving any jail time today. I think we've kind of heard that resonate throughout the halls of this room today. But meanwhile, the DOJ, the same agency that is responsible for this phony investigation in 2016, is at this very moment seeking to put Donald Trump in prison for over 400 years over a document issue. And last I checked, President Biden has a bit of a document issue himself before he was even the sitting president of this country. And again, it's another example of this two-tier justice system. My colleagues on the left talk about democracy. Well, here's what I know about democracy. In 2016, Donald Trump was elected by the American people to be their commander in chief. But he wasn't allowed to serve in that capacity because he and his administration spent four years responding to Democrat invented scandal after Democrat invented scandal. And here we are, seven years later, still talking about President Trump and this Democrat invented scandal. And this does not look like a democracy to me. As a West Point graduate and combat veteran, I've fought abroad against authoritarian countries. I know what they look like, and I know what, the, what those countries do and how they treat their people, and I also know what democracy looks like. And my fear is that this looks like the death of democracy, and it's up to us in this room to do something about it. Sir, I cannot thank you very much for your time. Thank you for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. I yield back the rest of my time, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Wisconsin for five minutes. Uh, Mr. Durham, did you see evidence of collusion between Russia and the Trump? Đi tìm người yêu ly tướng đâu anh 
em không đi tìm người yêu tuyệt đối đâu anh em không đi tìm người yêu nhan sắc mỹ miều người yêu đại các cao sang lụa là gấm hoa vàng son em không đi tìm người yêu đôi trắng thay đen em không đi tìm người yêu say đắm xa hoa em không đi tìm người yêu cao quý ngọc ngà lầu cao xe các anh ơi có gì vẫn luôn vững tìm người yêu trong mơ dẫu nghèo nguyện không đổi lòng anh ơi biết rằng ở đời ai không muốn đẹp giàu và cao sang vì em nghèo đâu dám mơ anh ơi em tìm người yêu không ước mơ cao anh ơi em tìm người yêu thương mãi tranh siêu mãi đây cho dù rằng đời góc bế chân trời cuộc đời bão táp phong ba suốt đời có nhau bên mình mãi đây cho dù rằng đời góc bế chân trời cuộc đời bão 